bring them together and close the back of your throat. So everybody go like this and breathe. Go like that and then say vocal folds. Ready? Go. Vocal, vocal folds. Good. So there's a couple different ways to bring our vocal folds together. Um, let's sing this song. This is a song that I'll know. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. Actually, let's go. Isn't that good for me? Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. Here we go. Ready? I want you to sing this song like this. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. Ready? And go as long as you can without breathing. Ready? Go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain High. When you're on that rocky mountain, your head and cry. Do, 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 remember me. Do, 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 remember me. Okay, good. Why, what happened? What did you feel? By the raise of hands, what can describe the feeling? Adam? I lost a lot of air just before. Okay, you felt like your air was just leaking out. Angie? hit the Okay, it was harder to hit the high note. You couldn't even hit it at all. Good, Camille. So tired. Yeah, it's like so much work. And does it sound good? No. No, so much work for not a good sound. Okay, good. What's happening, Julie? Go ahead. Sorry, I also noticed like I know how to get that low breath into it, but then I think, I mean, but not well. It's not like I was running out of breath with my low breath, and I was thinking I was trying to breathe with my like up here. For the shallow breath and do that same thing. No wonder they can't hold for a very long time. A lot of this is time. one of the reasons that I do this uh, tone quality before breathing. Because what if our kid has a huge breath of air, but they leak it all out? They're take, they can be taking great breaths and have a not good sound. Okay. So I think have, having an understanding, even if they can't do it, is important. Okay, good. So we are going to call that, what's, what do you think is happening with your vocal fold? They're Why not you all the way yeah. together. Yes, they're not all the way together. So there's a leak like that. So air is coming through them, and we call that breathy connection. So when I say breathy connection, everybody go like this. Breathy connection. Ready? Breathy connection. Breathy connection. Okay, good. Now let's sing it like this. Oh, wait, I'm not sure. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. Everybody sing like that. Ready? Go. Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain. I won't let you do it like that for very long because it's not healthy. What does it feel like? What does it feel like? Somebody I haven't heard from yet. Somebody I haven't heard from yet. Forced? Ricky. Yeah, okay, good. Forced, and that's what we're going to call it. Forced connection. Okay, anything else that you notice? What does it feel like? Yelling. Okay, it's like, it sounds like yelling. It's sharp. It's like, it's really twangly. It's yeah, it's like really uh, too much annoying. pressured. It's annoying. <laughs> it's sounds a kind like of screaming. A, yeah, it sounds like screaming. Have you ever listened to a choir and you felt like you were being like chastised by your parents? They were like <laughs> shouting at you. We, even though people don't recognize, oh, they're, they're singing with a forced tone. They just think, man, that doesn't sound good. I feel like I'm being shouted at. Good. So that's forced connection. When I say forced connection, you're gonna go like this. Force connection! You're gonna push your hands together like this. Ready? Force connection. Force, Force connection. connection! Okay, good. And right in the middle of these two, we have um, balanced, is what our district calls it. Balanced tone. And I call it primal because it's the most natural thing. Um, little, when you speak, you speak with a primal connection most of the time. There are some people who speak with breathy connection. But most people speak with a clear tone, and they don't have a lot of tension while they're talking. Imagine if you talked all day like that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people sing like this, or a lot of people sing like this. So take your hands and say, primal connection. Ready? Primal connection. Primal, primal connection. connection. Good. And try to make it go up and down through your range, so it's not just in your chest voice. It's going to go, primal connection. Ready? Primal connection. Primal connection. Good. It should feel what? How should it feel? Free and relaxed. Yes. So to be able to sing like that, you can't let these muscles take over because your neck muscles, they are control freaks. When they hear your vocal folds start, they're like, hey, let me help you with that. I'll make it sound better. Like that. So you got to say, get away, go away and let your, your neck relax and let all these muscles relax so that your true voice can come out. Because your true voice is beautiful, if you'll just let it be. So, um, let's see. What else are we going to do on that? Um, why do you think, okay, pause. Why do you think that we do the gangster talk? 
Why do you think I do that? Ricky. Junior high boys can do that and not feel insecure about themselves. You mean you think for them that's better than, I'm Mr. Wiggle and I'm Mr. Wiggle. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's vocal play, but it's in a way that they can actually Connect be cool them, yeah. and yeah. yeah, and relate they are, to. That they already do. Yeah. And even fourth and fifth. Because we all we all talk like that. Like right now, I'm getting excited, so I talk like that, and I have a mix in my voice without even knowing it. But when I tried to sing with a mix, when my vo when my voice teachers were like, "Mix your voice," I had no idea what they were talking about, and I could not do it until I figured out, oh, it's just what I do all the time. Huh. Good, Jessica. Because of this class last year, I actually <clears throat> changed my warm up. And I didn't do a lot of that, but I would try to do vocal play for, like I tried to do vocal play, but I actually talked about the head voice and the mixed voice and stuff too. Now I'm really tired, so I don't want to do it. But every time I'd be like, jazz voice, go. Ah, 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 and mixed voice, woo, and head <clears throat> voice, and I'd be like, football games, like, oh. Awesome. Football games, like, yeah, there's so many different ways to do it. Um, there was a, I didn't get to go to this ACDA, it was an ACDA thing and it was with Rollo Dilworth. I don't know, Camille, if you got to go there, but Jill always talks about it and she says that Rollo Dilworth, he, he does this like root fear thing. I don't know how long it was ago. I think it was at the a Salt Lake, ACDA yeah. Salt Lake. Okay, yeah, he did an honor choir. Oh, yeah, okay. at a regional one in like 2006 or something. Yeah, and she said that he does the same type of thing. He says root beer, and then I can't remember. I can't oh, remember I what remember. the middle one is, but the top one's like latte or something like that. So <laughs> he, he has the same that's type funny. of thing where you can. That's the thing is find things that your students <clears throat> relate to. I don't know if I would actually do this if I were in an African American school because a lot of the stuff I'm imitating is African American, and I'm not African American, and so. Um, that might be offensive to them. It might not. They might think it's cool. So I might try it, and then if they glared at me, then I wouldn't do it anymore. So I think. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them do it after a while. The first day, the kids are just looking at each other and laughing, but pretty soon they just start to do it. They have to do it too. It's fun. Um, so I'm trying to think of anything else. What else does it do? What what does that do to, to the vocal play like that, Jessica? My boys who <clears throat> can't like they haven't learned how to manipulate their voice the way they want to, so this gives them an experience like stretching into their higher and lower ranges, and then when later on when we're rehearsing and I'm like, okay, I want you to get all the way through this, no, I can't sing anymore. But then I'm like, okay, let's everyone woo woo, and then I'm like, woo, woo singing. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, really good. I Angie. think it just gets them out of their shell too. Like they're not afraid to use their voice because we're all being ridiculous together. So they're they're not as worried about letting their voice out. Yeah, and you can use those later on. You can come back to all those things. So for the girls when they're having a hard time hitting the high notes, you just go woo 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 and just have them have them see. Oh, my voice can go way higher than this note. Why do I think it's so high? because I just came down to it. And with the men, it's like, hey, 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 and stuff like that can help them find those pitches. Good, so what I want you to do really quick right now is we're gonna do one minute.